Hi everyone, Serge Amad here again for a new Creative Cloud tutorial. In part one of the Invigorator Advanced Control tutorials, I showed you how to use the Set Center to precisely animate an object once you combine both After Effects and Invigorator 3D words. Now in part two, I would like to show you how to use the Set Center to gain an absolute control on your object's behavior when using the Depth Scale parameter. Before we start with the animation, I would like to demonstrate in a very simplistic way how the set center influences the depth scale parameter of a set. Let's start by creating a primitive shape. I will change this now to a cube as it's more practical for my demonstration in this case. Now we know that Invigorator places the set center or also called pivot point of a set at the very center of the first object assigned to a set. You want to see it? Let's open the cube for you. Here it is. Okay, let's see now what happens when we scale the depth of our object. Here you go, if our cube object was an accordion, this animation would look perfect, but it's not the case. So we see the cube expanding in the z-axis, but on both sides, starting from the object center. To alter this and make the cube grow in a single direction, like it should happen when uh, you want to animate a chart graph or an audio bar for instance, we need to make a simple change. Let's do it. I select our object and using the manipulation tools, I make sure that its back face is placed right at the origin of the z-axis. Voila, the back face is now positioned right where we want it. Let's see now how our object will behave. Perfect. Now if I wanted to change the growth direction and have the cube animate vertically, all I would need to do would be to reverse the z-axis by altering the x rotation value to minus 90 degrees. So now that you learned the basic on how the set center influences the depth scale parameter, let's just have some fun and recreate together the building's animation. Okay, we start first in Illustrator. I created 25 square shapes. Each shape represents a building and is located in its own layer. And this is just to make uh, the mapping easier. I use different colors so I can later assign each color group to a new set. The group randomness is meant not to have the buildings grow in a row or column order. Ok, let's import this file into Invigorator. I need now to assign each color group to a set, but first I want to make sure that all sets will share the exact same set center position. Why? Because I discovered that when you manipulate different sets in the Immigrator Effects window, if these don't share the exact same set center position, some of them may shift location. Animating these shifted sets later could get difficult. So let us now create a common set center for all sets. I will use this object, as it is already at the center, duplicate it seven times and assign each of the duplicate to a new set. Just to remind you, any object you assign to a new empty set will produce a set center that will reside exactly at its own center. Ok, before I start duplicating, let us first make sure in the user preferences menu that all the duplication of sets values are set to zero. They default to a 50 pixel shift value, we don't want that. 
Now I select the brown object, duplicate it 7 times, then I assign each duplicate to a new set. I now assign each color group to a different set. Ok, done. Ok, now I need to alter the position of all objects so their back faces lay exactly at the origin of the z-axis. Now I would like you to notice that I left the depth of all objects at the default value of 20 points, or pixels if you prefer. I will get back to this later. Let's go to the effects window. I start by rotating all objects in the x-axis. This will take some time. Now I set the initial keyframe for all sets depth scale parameter and alter the value to 1 pixel depth. Ok, let's animate each set differently as we want the buildings to reach diverse heights at the end of the depth scale animation. Here we go, now we have a nice city block. Notice that all buildings residing in the same set have the exact same height. If you want these also to be varied, you could do so by altering their initial depth in the setup window. Let's do so. You remember that I left all objects depth value at 20 points. So let me change this for some of the buildings. Alright, now I have to reposition these objects so they lay on the grid floor where the origin of the Z axis is located. I am repeating myself here, I know, I'm getting old.
Okay, let's preview this. Here is now a short animation with the low resolution mapping just to give you an idea on what the set center can help you create. All I did was map the buildings and add an old TV from the Invigomani Media series in set number 8. The footage used to map the TV screen was by the way provided by my friend Aaron Rabinovitz. Thanks again Aaron. Okay. Salut everyone, it was a pleasure again.